So as we get into the COVID-19 vaccine, what are the primary ingredients used in these two front runners? Let's start with those two, the so Pfizer and Moderna. Yeah, uh, th thanks for uh, uh, question, uh, you uh, uh, proposing question, which is correctly uh, uh, proposed because when, we, uh, when people these days are here talking about the COVID vaccine have this problem, that problem, they have this ingredient, ingredient then the next question is, the, which one are you talking about? There are about 200 vaccines proposed for COVID. And uh, um, uh, they have different ways how these vaccines are made, so they have different ingredients. So thanks for asking about specifically about mRNA vaccines. Yes. Uh, if we need to, I can speak uh, uh, more in depth about what kind of vaccines are there, why they are different. We mm -hmm. can talk about that. But first, let me answer that question. Uh, mRNA vaccines. Uh, if, if I just briefly answer directly your question, uh, when it comes to Pfizer vaccine, which is the only one that had emergency youth authorization as of today, mm -hmm. and the Moderna vaccine is probably next in line, but the, the one that is already being injected in people's arms is the Pfizer vaccine. An exact list of ingredients is available on the internet for mm -hmm. anyone to see. And if we look at it, we will see what is in there. What, we, what is in there is the synthetic mRNA, which is ribonucleic acid made in laboratory. It's synthetic. It's not taken from the virus. Then there are lipids, four different lipids. And uh, one of them is actually cholesterol that we all have in the body. Some, uh, some of us more than we would like. So one of them is cholesterol. And why do we need lipids? We need lipids to give a structure to that envelope. Because the um, uh, m m RNA, ribonucleic acid, is very fragile and could be quickly destroyed by our bodies when it's introduced in your body, the scientists needed to envelope it in some kind of a protection. Mm -hmm. And they came up with this lipid particles. they call called nanoparticles because they're tiny, tiny particles, no larger than the virus itself. Mm -hmm and they envelope mRNA to protect it from the destruction. So, uh, and one of those lipids uh, is a, a, a positively charged. And the reason is, is because the RNA itself is negatively charged. So obviously positive, negative attract to each other and they mm -hmm. stick together. Mm -hmm. And the other two lipids are just giving structure to this protective envelope, just mm -hmm. like a house needs a frame, otherwise it will collapse, the same as this one, you need a structure. Uh, the, uh, the one thing uh, I should mention that it is suspected that that positively charged lipid particle could be the one that could theoretically cause an uh, allergic reaction, for example, that people are concerned with. Mm -hmm. but uh, the analysis shows that that's, if, if there is anything causing, that could be the one mm -hmm. that causing allergic reaction. Uh, the other parts are salts. One, uh, just a simple table salt, and then some other salts. So why do we need salts? We need salts there because <coughs> uh, in our body we have a certain acidity, which is called pH, mm -hmm. and uh, we need to match the acidity of the vaccine we're injecting to people to acidity of the, the, the blood and, and a system we, inside the human body. So uh, the matching them makes it, it more effective. So that's why we need the salt. And the last one is a, again, home ingredient, sugar, just a regular table sugar. And sh sugar is there as a, what we call stabilizer. It helps uh, that frozen uh, lipid um, particles, uh, as we know Pfizer is frozen vaccine, mm -hmm. they don't stick to, to each other and, and stay apart. So that's why we have a sugar in it. So here is the all ingredients. And what you probably notice, I did not mention any preservatives like uh, timerosal. It's not there simply. I did not mention any adjuvants like aluminum because it's not there. I told you exactly what is in it. And there is also, as you notice, I didn't mention any protein because there is no protein in the Pfizer vaccine. 